I want the New England Patriot fans and players to understand that what we do to them tomorrow is not just business. It's personal. We're going to come into your house, take a shit on your coffee table, and then push your noses in it. We're going to take Bill Belichick's hoodie, and we're going to shit all over it and make him wear it. That's what we're doing to the New England Patriots tomorrow. And it's going to get ugly very early. I'm talking within quarter and a half, 21 nothing. That's what the Cleveland Browns are going to do at Foxborough. Foxborough is going to be a fucking sadistic cult place tomorrow. Sacrificial. What they do to the New England Patriots. Do you think Jarvis Landry guaranteed victory was by mistake? Do you think he rewarded it wrong? Rewarded? Rewarded it wrong? No. That was all planned, premeditated. It's going to be a bludgeoning of biblical proportions. And we're all going to be able to witness it. At about 4.46, the game will be in hand. <laughs> Baker Mayfield comes back strong, plays like he did last year. That's a key ingredient of the Cleveland Browns. If Mayfield plays like he did last year, the Cleveland Browns could go undefeated. They'll win the Super Bowl. He's the problem. That's why they suck this year, because of Baker Mayfield. But two weeks off, you give Freddie GWX Kitchens two weeks to prepare. I don't care if he's facing the goddamn Mona Lisa herself. He'll take a shit on that painting and make a better one. So coaching Freddie Kitchens against Bill Belichick, it's a mismatch. Freddie Kitchens gets way more fucking ability than Bill Belichick. Belichick's been riding the coattails of his coaching staff. You know it and I know it. And I got a cop behind me right now and I don't like that. Boing, gong, gong, gong.